Welcome to the first module of the RainWise Program's Contractor Skill Building Webinar Series. My name is Carrie Simpson, and I'm a consultant hired by the utilities to produce these modules to help small businesses succeed with the RainWise Program. This module is one of five intended to help prospective RainWise contractors evaluate their abilities, resources, and readiness to start a small business and specifically to succeed at becoming a RainWise contractor. So let's begin. Module one, get your RainWise. This series is designed for people who want to start their own RainWise business, but need help getting started. RainWise seeks to increase the numbers of installations in Seattle within combined sewer basins. Content is adapted from the RainWise Academy, a 12-week course hosted by RainWise program staff and South Seattle College in 2020. Additional resources are available at 700milliongallons.org slash RainWise slash contractor dash resources. This includes program basics, how the program works, how to do some of the technical aspects of the program, such as piping and gluing, or how to do a site plan. Contact RainWise with your questions at rainwise at seattle.gov. My name is Joe Sullivan, and I work for King County Wastewater Treatment Division, and I'm thrilled you are interested in getting started with RainWise. RainWise is a rebate program and team effort between Seattle Public Utilities and King County Wastewater Treatment Division. RainWise rebates provide funding for private property owners to hire RainWise trained contractors to install rain gardens and or cisterns to manage the rain that falls on their roofs. RainWise installations can help stop sewer overflows and prevent flooding. This slide shows how RainWise cisterns and rain gardens work. The cisterns fill up and are equipped with a special low flow valve that lets water trickle out slowly. The cistern empties after each storm and is ready to fill up the next time it rains. Rain gardens are bowl-shaped gardens with spongy soil that lets water soak directly into the ground. Besides managing stormwater, rain gardens add attractive landscaping and cisterns can be a source of summer water if the low flow valve is closed in late spring. As of summer 2022, the RainWise rebate is up to $4 per square foot of roof area captured. The rebate is occasionally adjusted to accommodate changes in specifications and inflation. In addition to the environmental benefit of providing climate resilient landscape designs and installations that help property owners keep our local waters clean, becoming a RainWise contractor brings many benefits, including promotion of your business. The RainWise program is promoted through in-person and online events, webinars, social media, and many other outlets. You will have the opportunity to meet eligible property owners at these events and benefit from this promotion. Potential customers find RainWise contractors on the RainWise website listed on this slide, 700milliongallons.org slash RainWise slash find a contractor. This link will include contact information and links to your website and or social media. The RainWise web page listings are searchable by the area or service you want to promote to potential customers. This includes languages spoken, types of projects you specialize in, and any other features that you want to share. RainWise contractors also have the opportunity for additional skill building webinars and workshops and both networking and information sharing opportunities. RainWise is happy to promote your success stories on our social media channels as well. Just a reminder, in order to design and construct RainWise installation in Seattle, you need to complete our RainWise contractor orientation, be a licensed and bonded contractor in the state of Washington, and submit your license your Seattle business license and Washington's contracts for license to RainWise at seattle.gov. RainWise contractors are independent businesses. Seattle Public Utilities and King County want to encourage you to become a RainWise contractor, but do not have any legal obligation to help you start or keep your business going. 
please make sure you do your research and consult financial experts. Research and understand how you will pay yourself, your reporting responsibilities, and tax liabilities, and note that there are different rules for different types of businesses. Take time to evaluate the pros and cons of becoming self-employed, and evaluate now and decide on changes needed to reach your goals. You may or may not have, a, have your own business today, and that's okay, but we are here to help. Please reach out to rainwise at seattle.gov with any questions you may have. This module's objective is to help you become a Rainwise contractor and make a positive difference, not only for your business, but also for our shared community and environment. In this module, we will be walking through some useful questions about your overarching business goals, as well as your specific goals for adding Rainwise to your business. We will discuss some benefits and complexities of owning your own business, we will think about money and look at the difference between personal and business finances, and we will give an overview of all the steps to become a Rainwise contractor. You will find some very useful resources and worksheets to help with business and financial planning at the end of this video. So let's, let's go. What are your business goals? Now would be a great time for you to pause this video and write for a few minutes to answer some or all of these questions as you think about your business goals. What steps can you take now to reach these goals? How much money do you need to make? How much do you need to pay yourself to meet your current expenses? Are there other factors beyond income that are important to your quality of life? How does your relationship with money impact your potential self-employment? Take a look at your current budget. Your savings are your future. How much income do you need to survive, to thrive? Is investing in your business with both your time and your money going to move you further along the survive or thrive continuum? We'll see you when you come back. Now, let's switch to your goals for adding RainWise into your business offerings. There are two key questions. What services will you offer customers and who will do the work? At this point in your business formation journey, it's a good idea to answer these two questions from a perspective of various time horizons. The next three to six months, next year, and maybe a couple years from now. You may have more personal involvement in the startup phase of your business and hire additional help as your business grows and thrives. When you think of what services you will offer customers, RainWise contractors employ several different business models, including focusing on RainWise rebate projects only. And some contractors specialize within RainWise and only put in cisterns, or only do rain gardens, or only work in the north end of Seattle, or only work in the south end of Seattle. The other business model is to provide a variety service for residential projects and include RainWise as an option. Often, larger residential projects are interested in additional hardscape design and construction projects. And you can offer additional specialty services such as hardscaping, specimen trees, edible gardens, tree care, and maintenance. And in addition to residential projects, RainWise does cover rebates on business and commercial projects if their site is suitable. So the next question is who will do the work? Will you employ a crew or subcontract labor to do some or all of the physical work? Well, some contractors do all the labor themselves as a solo business. Also, you may hire specialists to help with things like scheduling, billing, accounting, and taxes. In Module 4, we will go over the pros and cons of having employees versus doing all the work yourself. Now, let's talk about money. If you already have a budget and financial statements for your business, good for you. And if you don't, there are worksheets provided as a link in a resource guide at the end of this module to help you get started. Let's start by defining some financial terms. Budget 
is a forecast of the revenues, income, and expenses, losses, that you expect to have for a specific period, usually a year. Budgets are often managed and updated monthly. Financial statements are the actual revenues or profits and expenses, losses, for that same specified period. They include your assets and your liabilities. A balance sheet shows your current assets and liabilities and how the assets are financed, whether through equity or debt. Your net worth equals your total assets minus your total liabilities. On a smaller scale, a project estimate is a budget forecast for a specific project. Financial statements, both personal and for your business, are used when applying for credit. The difference between a budget and a financial statement is that one is a forecast, the other reflects actual revenue and expenses. Financial statements include details behind the numbers on a balance sheet. If you are a small business owner, it is good to have both personal and business financial statements available. Financial statements are usually updated annually, so you can check your progress and take advantage of opportunities or challenges. Many financial institutions require personal financial data, even though personal financial statement does not include any business assets or liabilities. Again, I assure you, the resource guide at the end of this video has lots of financial education and resources. Here are several financial options for Rainwise Contractor. The vendor payment option allows contractors to front the cost of a Rainwise project. This can be helpful for property owners who cannot pay the upfront costs. The contractor will directly receive the rebate and is in control of the of submitting paperwork and getting reimbursed in a timely way. Craft 3 used to offer subsidized loans for Rainwise contractors, and although that specific program is not available anymore, they are aware of the Rainwise program and offer low interest loans for clean water and energy projects. They can be reached at www.craft3.org. Other financial institutions may also be a place to find other options. More information can be found on the Contractor Resources page. When you scroll down, it will list financial support options. To help make the Rainwise program more equitable, the nonprofit Stewardship Partners acquired funding from King County to help homeowners who cannot afford any out-of-pocket costs. The problem Sometimes relatively small, $1,000 or less out-of-pocket costs for Rainwise projects pose a barrier to many would-be participants, particularly low-income and underserved communities. The solution is the Rainwise Access Grant, which provides up to an additional $1,000 for Rainwise-eligible property owners and nonprofit community organizations, including religious organizations, to bridge the gap between rebate amount and actual project costs. This is an easy grant to access and a wonderful solution. More information is available on the contractor resources page you heard about previously, or directly at the 12,000 Rain Gardens website. And that link is 12,000raingardens.org slash rainwise dash access dash grant. Now we are going to look at a very valuable resource, a downloadable PDF on how to start your Rainwise business, a step-by-step -step guide. This flowchart offers step-by-step -step instructions to help you start a new Rainwise business in the state of Washington and the city of Seattle. Take a moment and click the link on the bottom of the screen, which should open the flowchart PDF that's posted on the 700milliongallons.org slash rainwise slash contractor resources webpage. There is a second page to this flowchart that you don't see on this slide that has embedded links to resources for each of the steps. So we recommended you look at both pages of the PDF. This slide is an overview, and the next presentation, Starting Your Rainwise Business, 
will dive deep into each of these steps. Many resources have been compiled to facilitate the formation of your new business. The red items that you see on this first page of the flowchart are the tangible products you will need to create to start your business. The items shown at the bottom row will need to be submitted to Seattle Public Utilities for review and processing in order to become a Rainwise contractor. Again, in the next presentation, starting your Rainwise business, we will go into greater depth on completing all these steps. In the next module, we will walk you through this process in much more detail, providing additional links, resources, and support as you start or grow your Rainwise business. This slide covers the paperwork that will be required to turn in before you can build a Rainwise rebated project in the City of Seattle. You'll need to do a business license, a Washington State's contractor license, including liability insurance and surety bonding, a completed IRS W-9 form, a completed Rainwise questionnaire, and complete any program requirements, such as the COVID-19 safety plan. You'll want to send a completed Seattle business license and Washington contractor's license to Rainwise at rainwise at seattle.gov. You can look at all this Rainwise paperwork and find other business formation resources at the end of this presentation. Once you submit that business license, you will then be listed on the contractor selection section of the Rainwise webpage and can also be promoted through marketing materials, events, and in other ways. This module's objective was to help you get your Rainwise business ready and make a positive difference for not only your life and your business, but also for our shared community and environment. In this module, we covered setting your overarching business goals and your goals for adding Rainwise to your business. We discussed money and finances we walked through some of the benefits and complexities of operating a business, and we ended with the steps to both starting a business and becoming a Rainwise contractor. There are four more mo modules to this Launch a Rainwise business series. These are available on the Rainwise contractor resources page. We hope you'll continue taking advantage of them and listening to them. Thanks so much for your time and interest. Thanks for sticking with us to the end of this module. We have compiled a homework and resources reference guide that has both useful homework exercises and additional resources on starting, maintaining, and succeeding as a business in the City of Seattle in Washington State. The link below opens the Rainwise Contractor Resources webpage where you can download the reference guide. The homework includes some great business basics, including setting goals to complete your small business evaluation worksheet, using budget and financial statements, and taking an online small business assessment. In addition, there are resources for more assistance, such as the Ventures Program in Seattle that has helped many small businesses get started. There is a lot to starting or growing your business. Rainwise staff are here to support you through the next steps of the program. If you have any questions, please send an email to rainwise at seattle.gov and put new contractor question in the subject line. Thanks again. We hope this module piqued your interest and you will join the Rainwise effort as a contractor. If you have any questions about the Rainwise program, how to become a contractor, or other ideas or concerns, please reach out to us at rainwise at seattle.gov. Thank you so much for your time. This was the first of five modules in our skill building webinar series. We hope you will continue to the next module, starting your Rainwise business. These materials were adapted from the Rainwise Academy, a 12 week course hosted by Seattle Public Utilities and South Seattle College in 2020.